Last week, we did a video taking a look at the 7 best paid players in non-league football. The video got a great reaction, and a lot of you asked if we could do a bit more non-league content. So that's exactly what we're doing today. When a striker starts scoring prolifically at lower league and non-league level, it is often the subject of debate as to whether they are capable of making the step up. As this 7 shows, that can be incredibly difficult to predict. 8 players feature here due to it being a tie at the top of the scoring charts 2 seasons ago, as we look back at the National League's top scorers since the 2011-12 season. Here are the last 7 National League top scorers, where are they now? Ricky Miller, Mansfield It often seems to be the case that National League top scorers can be rather late bloomers, and that is certainly true of Ricky Miller. The division's leading scorer last season is 28 years old, and he scored 40 goals in 41 league outings for Dover Athletic, and 45 goals in all competitions. Peterborough United picked up the sharp-shooting non-leaguer over the summer on a free transfer, but whilst posh are renowned for unearthing attacking prowess at bargain prices, things haven't worked out with Miller. He's currently on loan at Mansfield, and the Peterborough owner is said to be frustrated with Miller as he keeps turning down moves elsewhere. Padraig Armand, Newport County, and Dan Holman, Leighton Orient. Tied top scorers in the National League in 2015-16, we start with Padraig Armand. Capped four times by Ireland at under-21 level, the hard-working frontman bagged 30 goals in 40 league games for Grimsby Town. His goals helped fire the Mariners to promotion, but Armand left that summer on a free to Hartlepool United. Whilst Grimsby stayed up, Hartlepool were relegated from League 2. The 29-year-old moved on once more though, joining Newport County, where he has 10 goals from 22 starts so far this season. Dan Holman, meanwhile, who also bagged 30 goals that season but for Cheltenham Town, is still contracted to the Robins, but is currently on loan from the League 2 side at National League outfit Leighton Orient. John Akinde, Barnet. The top scorer in the last season in which England's fifth tier was known as the Conference, prior to its renaming as the National League, John Akinde scored 31 league goals in the 2014-15 campaign. His goals helped Barnett win the title, and he is still with the Bees, where he has been a fine servant, scoring 87 goals in 159 games. A big, strong centre forward, Akinde may find himself back in the National League next season, as Barnett are currently a little cut adrift at the foot of the League 2 table. Andre Gray, Watford Restoring some faith among non-league high flyers everywhere, Andre Gray shows that there is a route from being National League top scorer to being a Premier League footballer. A quick and clinical striker, Gray topped the division scoring charts as Luton Town won the title back in 2013-14, ending the season with 30 goals to his name. From Luton he headed to Brentford, and from Brentford on to Burnley. He became a title winner and the Championship's top scorer at Burnley, and nine Premier League goals convinced Watford to sign him. Gray is now earning a reported £70,000 a week, and his combined transfer fees are said to total more than £33 million. Not bad for a lad who was at Hinkley United only five years ago. Matt Green, Lincoln City Just like Andre Gray, after top scoring in the conference, Matt Green got his big move to the championship. Unlike Gray, however, he didn't win the title as top scorer. In his 10 league games for Birmingham City, the centre forward scored one goal. The Blues sold him onto Mansfield, where he began to find the net once more in League 2, and he joined his current club Lincoln City in the summer. Jamie Vardy, Leicester City The poster boy for non-league centre forwards everywhere, Jamie Vardy's meteoric rise through the leagues has been well documented. Fleetwood Town signed him from Conference Northside Halifax Town in 2011, and in his single season at Highbury, the Sheffield-born forward led the conference scoring charts with 31 goals in 36 games. That prompted championship outfit Leicester City to take a chance on the late bloomer for a fee of more than £1 million, which set a record for a non-league player. It's fair to say Vardy has proved his worth. The now 31-year-old won promotion with the Foxes and scored 24 league goals in only his second season in the Premier League. Those goals helped Leicester win a shock Premier League title and also saw Vardy overtake Ruud van Nistelrooy's record for consecutive games scored in. Matt Tubbs, Haven and Waterlooville. For every Jamie Vardy, there is a Matt Tubbs. Sorry Tubbsy, that's a bit harsh, but we're sure he'd be the first to admit his career hasn't exactly gone the way he would have planned. Tubbs actually had the best season of any player in this seven, bagging 37 goals in 41 league games in the 2010-11 season for Crawley Town. 
He looked absolutely deadly and continued to score at a decent rate for the Reds in League 2. In 2011 he joined League 1 outfit Bournemouth where he struggled to make a real impact and he has become a journeyman forward tumbling down the footballing pyramid ever since. Now aged 33, Tubbs is currently struggling to get a game for National League Southside Haven and Waterlooville and he even went out on loan to 7th tier Weymouth earlier this season. That's it for today's 7. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s and check out my new Facebook page linked in the video description below.